So in On The Clock, we have underneath schedule, a fixed schedules option. What we can do with a fixed schedule is we can just add in a schedule that's going to send out reminders to our employees 10 minutes prior to the beginning and end of the day. So we can remind our employees to punch in 10 minutes before or after that. Then we have breaks that we can automate within here. So we could have these automated where the system's just going to automatically punch an employee in or out for the day. And then we also have a way to make this manual. I am going to show you how we would set this up if we just wanted to send out reminders. So right now I have my punch automation reminders and paid break schedule up. Name and breaks, I've named this day shift. How many breaks? Right now I've marked none. In step two, I'm gonna be able to put in my times. So my day start time right now is 8 a.m. We do not automate your start time. This is for attendance reasons. We wouldn't want to punch somebody in who's not there for the day. So you would just go ahead and enter in your start time. So for my example, I have 8 a.m. Then I entered in an out time. You'll see that I have manual checked here. That means that this employee needs to manually punch out for the day. And I put my out time as 5 p.m. You could optionally put out hours. What this means is that if I put eight hours here, that when they reach eight hours in the day, I am going to remind them to punch out when they've hit eight hours or five hours or whichever hours you indicate here. You do not need to have both of these. You would either put an out time or an out hours. Then in step three, we would just select employees that we wanted this to be applied to. So you would just turn this slider to on. If I wanted to send a reminder 10 minutes prior to the beginning or end of the shift, I would just send a punch reminder. And what we'll do is we'll email that or we'll send a text if you have a phone number on file for the employee. Now, if you wanted to add in breaks, so you just wanted to put in a schedule and have a lunch break indicated in here, you could say one break. You'll notice that a break column gets added in the middle here, and I can keep my day start and day end times here. Break one, punch in and out, I'm gonna leave it manual here. You'll notice we have a paid option here. So if I have a 30 minute lunch, for example, and it's not paid, I would leave this as no, and I could just enter in my out times here, for a manual break, the out times don't matter so much. I could put in a range because this is just a placeholder. So if I put in a range from 12 to three, cause that's the range in where they could be taking their lunch, I could go ahead and put that in here and the system will just indicate that the first out punch is mapped to break one and that it needs to not be paid. Other paid options in here would be yes. So if I had the amount exact here and I needed it to be 12 to 1, I could say that yes, that whole hour should be paid. Some I could say that only 0 0.50 of this break that I'm entering in here needs to be paid and the system is going to know that only a half hour of this is paid and anything over is going to go into unpaid time. Now, if I was to check off auto, that just means that the system is automatically going to look at the times that I put here and punch an employee out and back in based on those times. So if I put 12 p.m. to 12.30 p.m. in here, on Monday, the system's going to automatically clock my employee out at 12 p.m. and then back in at 12.30 p.m. We do send a automatic notification that your employee has been punched out and punched back in. And that is how you would add in your lunch break. Now, if you did have three breaks, for example, so you wanted to add in your 10 minute breaks and maybe you wanted those to just be automatic, you could put auto, paid yes, and then you could just put 12 to 12, 10 or 12 to 12, 15, 10 or 15 minute breaks, however you wanted to do this here. And it would do the same thing. So it would cycle through. Automation is dictated by the punch in for the day. We don't automatically punch anybody in, but once they create their first punch in for the day, the schedule's in queue to take place. So I punch in at 8 a.m. I have an auto break listed for break one. It punches me out for 10 minutes, punches me back in. Break two, if I have an unpaid lunch, I would want to leave this in here so that the scheme continues correctly. So I would leave my lunch in, I'd have manual. I could have whatever I needed in here. Uh, 1 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. Not paid. I want my employees to punch out and back in for lunch, so I'll leave it manual. Then I could come to break three and make this automated. Paid yes, put in another 10 minute time frame in here. 
so 3 p.m. to 3.10. And then again, I could leave my out time as 5 p.m. or I could say an out amount of hours. And you could automate your punch outs for the day. So if you wanted everybody to be punched out by 5 p.m., you could automate that as well. We do automatically send a notification to your employee letting them know that they have been automatically punched out. And then over under Monday, we do have a copy down. So you'd be able to just quickly copy down your schedule here if this is how it should look for every day. And then in step three, again, we would just apply that to the employees that this applies to. You can only subscribe an employee to one fixed schedule. They cannot be on multiples. So say employee two is not a part of this schedule. I would just not turn this on for them. And then I would go ahead and save schedule. And I can make as many fixed schedules as I need. So I could actually add a schedule that was specific to test employee two. And maybe they work something completely different. So maybe their start time is 9.30 a.m. They get one break for lunch and it's not paid. So I'll just go ahead add in a half hour. I'm going to leave this as manual and no for not paid. And then I'm going to manually say that they need to be reminded to punch out by three. And then I could just copy that down. If they don't work weekends, you just come over here and just backspace that out. And then in step three, again, I'll just apply this to employee two. You'll notice that under apply, I have this little asterisk. This is just indicating that test employee is already tied to a schedule. And then I can turn on punch reminders, which means that this employee is now going to be reminded of their shifts that I've applied to them. So they'll be reminded 10 minutes prior to 9.30 to punch in, 10 minutes prior to 3 p.m. to remember to punch out. And then they'll also be reminded 10 minutes prior to 12 to punch out for lunch and then to punch back in. And then you can just save the schedule. And if you needed to modify a schedule, you can just go to schedules, fixed schedules. It'll bring you into the same screen. You can just click on the schedule to open it up and you could change whatever you needed to change in here. Keep in mind when you're making an edit, if the duration that you're trying to change has already taken place for that day, that new modification is not going to take place until the next day. So if my employee already punched in at 8 a.m. and 12 p.m. to 12 10 is already passed and I modify this, this doesn't take place today. Another thing with a fixed schedule, since there are paid and unpaid breaks, in our time clock settings, under advanced settings, we have time card columns. It could be really handy for you to turn on our columns that we have labeled as paid breaks and unpaid breaks. So you just turn these sliders to green and that's going to update our time card view and what that's going to do is when these breaks take place anything that was supposed to be paid is going to show up under pbr which stands for paid break hours and anything that was supposed to be unpaid is going to go under ubr for unpaid break and it just indicates to us the 30 minutes that we said needed to be unpaid ends up in unpaid time and then those 10 minutes end up in pbr it makes the information nice and clean for us and that is how setting up a fixed schedule works, how we can automate punch outs and breaks settings. We also have it under punch automation reminders and paid breaks. So that's another way that you can get to the same place. And then you can just add a schedule. Were there any questions about automation and fixed schedules? Okay, if there are no questions, I will end this webinar on that note, you will get a replay video sent to you and you can actually ask your questions on that replay video and they will come over to support at On The Clock and we can go ahead and answer any of your questions that you do come up with.